Hi, I'm Arturo Devesa, CEO and founder of MedWhat. In January, I moved from sunny California to rainy Seattle. And guess what happened? I got a cold. I was not used to the weather. And the first thing that crossed my mind was to ask a medical question online. And I was not alone. According to Pew Research Institute, 95% of Americans are asking medical and health questions online every single month. So I decided to go to Bing. So I binged it. I asked, I have a cold. And what did I see? I saw this. A bunch of links, but not a real answer. And these links was not, it's not a really accessible information. And when you click on this information, basically it's not personalized in the context of who you are or who am I. It's not hooked up to my medical history and electronic medical records. And most importantly, this search engine knows I have a cold, but it never follows up, never closes the loop asking me a few days later, are you okay or do you still have the cold? So what did I do? I went to my doctor. <laughs> I got charged $150. It was a really fast experience. They told me to take some over-the-counter medications, and I never heard back. Doctors are really busy, and they see a lot of patients. That's why. To solve this problem, which is a big problem in the United States, we have assembled a rock star team of doctors in biomedical informatics and PhDs in machine learning from Stanford University. And together, we have created MedWhat, your virtual medical assistant chatbot. MedWhat is powered by artificial intelligence. What it means is that we're teaching the chatbot to have a back and forth conversation between you and the chatbot. We use machine learning so that we are teaching medicine to the chatbot by using the entire body of medicine on the web. And most importantly, this conversation is personalized based on in the context of this patient because it is hooked up to the electronic medical record and the medical history of the patient. And finally, we use medical protocols so the chatbot learns and remembers when to follow up and what questions to ask to follow up. I'm gonna go ahead and show you MedWhat in action. Good afternoon, Arturo. What medical or health question can I help you with? I have a cold. Sorry to hear that, Arturo. But just to make sure it's only a cold, do you also have fever? No, I don't have fever. But if it were the flu, you would also have a fever. Would you like to know how to treat your cold? Yes, please. Okay. I see you are 30. For an adult, a cold can be treated with over-the-counter medications or decongestants. Do not take antibiotics. However, Arturo, I see in your health record you have high blood pressure. Can you confirm this is correct? Yes, I have high blood pressure. In that case, decongestants are not recommended for you because they can cause even higher blood pressure. You can take over-the-counter Tylenol or get a prescription for Relenza or Tamiflu. Are there natural ways to take care of my cold? Yes, you can drink chicken soup, take vitamin C, eat fruits and vegetables, drink tea and honey to increase your immune system. Great, and how many Tylenols can I take in a day? To six pills per day are 3,000 milligrams. Your cold symptoms should go away within a week. If you still feel sick after seven days, you might have to see a doctor. Would you like me to follow up in seven days to see how you feel? Yes, do that, please. Great, I will check on you in seven days and will monitor your condition tomorrow and throughout the week with daily follow-up questions. Feel better, Arturo. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Matt Watt in action. And now, let's talk business. We are selling MedWatt to three types of organizations, health insurance, hospitals, and pharmaceutical companies. Essentially, organizations that deal with the entire patient ecosystem. We have two pharmaceutical companies we're working with, two health insurance companies, and one hospital. They're looking to engage patients with our medical chatbot technology. They're looking to lower costs to prevent unnecessary visits to the doctor and unnecessary calls to the hotline. Our chatbot does not provide medical diagnosis. We help with the learning and discovery process. We are not regulated by the FDA. 
We have a subscription model, essentially SaaS, business to business to consumer. It is consumers and patients who use the chatbot that we charge these organizations $1 per month per patient. We have so far 600,000 patients every single month using our chatbots, coming from the MedWatt app or white label third party APIs inside of our customers' chatbots. And we have answered more than 7 million medical conversations in the last couple of months. To grow this and to expand our vision of disrupting the healthcare industry, we are currently raising our Series A. And a few months ago, we raised $2 million as part of our seed round, having Stanford University's Venture Capital Fund as one of our top investors, which includes Stanford Hospital. I'm Arturo Devesa, CEO and founder of MedWatt, your virtual medical assistant. Thank you.